See, truly, there is, uh, my cases and Rahul Gandhi's case is totally on a different. I mean, though the cases are same, but the weightage for the leaders are uh, more. Of course, Rahul Gandhi is a national figure. I am an MP from the you know a small constituency. Though the uh, the the aspect and the legal side is same, but the wavelength was different. Of course, we admit that. And uh, uh, as far as myself is concerned, uh, see the uh, after my conviction, so it was like uh, uh, it was about me to reinstate. I mean, the speaker was giving us all the assurance to reinstate my membership. Uh, and most of my MPs colleagues were also not aware that I was not uh, reinstated uh, till Rahul Gandhi's uh, disqualification came because they see me in the parliament. I, I, we, we are sitting together in the central hall. When they interact with us, with me, then only they came to know that my uh, reinstatement is not happened because they were under the impression that when 25th of January, my conviction, when it is stopped, suspended, it was uh, no one was stopping me to enter the parliament. So they were all under the impression that I was already uh, inside the parliament because they see me in the parliament. But uh, when they interacted, when the Rahul Gandhi's issues came, then they started, uh, you know, noticing my issue. That's why it has like, come to my issue, came, came to notice. But one thing is very clear here. See the overall scenario, the interest uh, this government is showing to disqualify the people the MP, MPs, like uh, in my case, it was just 24 hours. Mm -hmm. In Rahul Gandhi's case, also 24 hours. For that, they don't they never require any legal opinion, any legal consultancy to disqualify. So at the same time, that interest must be shown in retaking. In in my case, it is almost two months. And they are, they sent the file for uh, legal opinion and all those aspects. But they disqualified, there was no legal opinion required. See, basically, this qualification is nothing. Speaker has nothing to do with it. As far as uh, I, I mean, the, uh, the settled law says, when a sitting MP is dis uh, getting disqualified because of a conviction, and the apex court, if the conviction is suspended, then the disqualification actor now shall not operate. This is the settled law now. So, speaker is acting according to the court uh, law, conviction. In my disqualification notification itself, what the Secretary General is saying, based on the conviction. So, if that is the case, then why, when the conviction is suspended, why the such notification is getting delayed and delayed up to two months? This shows the attitude of the government to keep the opposition MPs who speaks against the government, want to suppress their voice and keep away from the house. This is very evident from that action. See, there are two aspects in this. One is uh, uh, the series of actions uh, after my conviction which attributes more doubts to what was this intention. Number one, uh, I was convicted on 13th, uh, sorry, 11th of January. So I was uh, informed that one day in advance, uh, the uh, permanent helicopters, which is flying uh, from Lakshadweep uh, to mainland Cochin for medical purposes, they sought clearance from the Chennai, uh, this uh, uh, air traffic control to fly to Kannur one day before my conviction. Uh, the court assumes at 11 o'clock, the helicopter getting ready by around 10 o'clock and they are fueling it. Normally the helicopter is meant for medical emergencies. It's not for any other purposes. So immediately after the conviction, uh, we are airlifted by these medical ambulances. So there were a lot and other measures that we could have been taken by ships we could have been kept in the Kannur, I mean, sorry, Kali Kavarathi uh, jail till we get a ship. There were a lot many options. So it was very clear from the side of the Lakshadweep administrator that even one day should not be lapsed in getting our punishment started. So he took all the measures to uh, make us reach Kannur Central Jail the same day. So this is number one. And the, if you go to the merit of the case, I'm not. Uh, we are not in a position to comment anything on the court part. But the merit of the case, while High Court uh, were evaluating, the charges leveled against us was 307, which was not established by court of law. That's very well uh, kept by High Court. So this is something like you know, even if the 307 is convicted, normally it goes say three three years or five years. It has gone 15 years. So. Uh, it was sure that that court cannot give us a, 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 a breathing time to get our appeal filed and one month we will be 
uh, our sentence shall be stopped like what Rahul Gandhi has granted. So, and the scenarios which followed, see 11th of uh, January, my conviction comes, 13th of January, uh, disqualification happens. Normally from a remotest place, Lakshadeep, to reach all the papers, if the original documents, so as to a speaker to get satisfied, things to be reached, it will take minimum one week if by speed post or minimum three or four days at least take. So it took only 24 hours to disqualify me, to get all the documents and uh, disqualify it. Thereafter, uh, surprising was, though everybody knows that my appeal is pending before the High Court to be considered for both my conviction and my sentence, they went on notifying for by-election. A press note was released on that uh, 18th. So, it was surprising, like, you know, why so hastily they are doing this. So, one way it could be understood uh, why the by-election uh, declared was, then my case will go uh, an unnoticed one, an unimportant one, since election, once an area election is declared, then uh, there are the other cases will be kept on a silent till election comes. So, my case would not be taken for consideration. That must be the reason either uh, by, uh, uh, by notifying the election because there is no other way BJP go, uh, uh, pe uh, person is going to win in uh, uh, Lakshadweep because it is BJ NCP and Congress fighting each other. That BJP is very minimal there. So why uh, uh, central government is so interested in getting a uh, by-election uh, which on a, on a very fast way. Whereas in other places like, you know, Jalandhar, where uh, on the same day I am disqualified, uh, a sitting MP died. That was not considered for re-election re notification. So, when you uh, read all these things together, so there is something, a script which was written uh, to disqualify me, to uh, to take me inside, to entire scenario. The reason only because I was in forefront uh, in protesting against the anti people activities and the regulations which Mr. Patel was trying to implement to Lakshadeep. If you ask me what Lakshadeep wants, see what is the problem of Lakshadeep? There are a number of problems we have. We don't have sheep, we don't have medical service, we don't have a scholarship. I mean, don't have in the sense, all those things are getting curtailed by this gentleman. We all face these issues, but those are the symptoms of a disease, I would say. In fact, what we want is, we want to have our own legislator, legislations we wanted. Now, we are the son of the soil. We know what we want and what are the development, what are things to take place. A person who comes from outside, say now he is from Gujarat, he is coming and dictating us what to do, what not to do. This is against the, uh, you know, the very spirit of the democracy. Now, what is the present scenario? There is no panchayat now. The panchayat which he was in place has superannuated their time, uh, expired, then the panchayat is uh, over. Now the new election has to come. For that, he himself have made a panchayat regulation, new regulation, without consulting the existing panchayat. And surprisingly, no panchayat member or not even a single person or even me have wrote to anyone that this 1994 panchayat regulation need to be amended or a new regulation need to be brought in. Nothing. So he himself de uh, decides that a panchayat regulation, new regulation need to be in place. Now, what is the scenario? That panchayat new regulation, which is totally against the constitution, wherein by force he, uh, you know, enacted it through the government. Finally, where it is now? It is in the High Court, Kerala. And the delimitation based on the new regulation which has been set aside by the High Court because enter their notification, their uh, finding of the uh, delimitation of the war, everything is set aside because that is total violation of the, uh, uh, you know, laid on rules and regulations and laws of the uh, government of, I mean, our, our constitution. So, there is no panchayat at this place. And when the panchayat election will take place, that is also under uncertain because the court has to finally uh, make, it, uh, make, make it because the now the notification, everything is cancelled. Now they have to rectify everything or if they go for appeal again, it will get delayed. So in total, there is no panchayat, there is no member of parliament. So it is totally at the administrative executive ruling happening there. What does the people say now? There is nothing. People have no voice now. Panchayat which is there, it is not there. 
and the member of parliament who falls all eligibility to get into the house but there he is not allowed to come into the house so this is a scenario of lakshadi for this aspect what we say see we need a full legislative unity so that we will have our own voice in decision making process we know what we want and we have full faith that lot many things lot of educated youth they are all people waiting for contributing to the country and we want that to happen this is what exactly lakshadi people is strongly sounding for uh, when rahul gandhi's issues also came it has uh, it has come to the notice limelight of everybody this is something very in uh, you know, a cunningly or uh, purposefully this government is doing to suppress or to avoid uh, opposition voices from the houses so this is uh, today it has happened to me to rahul gandhi tomorrow they are they are, they are, there may be some other people i mean in the list those who fight against those, those talk against the government they will try all the measures to get them also to to follow our uh, you know the things which we are we are knowing so the ncp is very seriously taking into it that's why we have opted to go to the supreme court to restore our membership uh, we have full faith in the you know court and the established law settled law has no bar for me to enter into the parliament